In 2023, Android TV is the most well-known smart TV operating system in the world. And this demand is hugely fueled by the increasing number of smart TVs as well as the rise of OTT streaming platforms. According to the latest survey by Statista, the revenue generated by OTT streaming, that is videos that are streamed via OTT, is set to overtake the conventional TV streaming by 2027 and that too by a huge margin. So investing in an Android TV app is a good choice if you are having a streaming platform. But it is also a difficult choice to make considering the fact that you have to hire developers, spend thousands of dollars, spend months on review and the story doesn't end there. What if I tell you that you can now build your fully functional smart TV app in just five minutes? Yes, you heard that right. With Movie One, you can actually build your own smart TV applications in less than five minutes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it by following five simple steps and test it for free. Hi, my name is Shivashish and I'm going to show you how you can build your own Android TV application in less than five minutes. So let's get started. So step one is that we get a free trial of Movie One and we give a free 14 day trial to all our users. And for that, you simply have to go to movie.com and uh, start click on start a free trial uh, put in your essential details and as you see this has created a user id for me i agree for all the terms and conditions and then click next so it has sent an otp obviously to the email account and uh, you are done with step number one so the system is already creating your free movie one account with which you can build your own applications so this is how the setup will look now the next step is when we try to add content to the CMS uh, for doing that we need to go to the content library so the step one is to uh, click on content management and then content library and now next what we do is we simply create uh, click on add content Fill in the required information like my content name which can be test, uh, they can be links that you can decide later. The content category, this is very important, so it is a video category. Uh, they, you can put in search tags, uh, that will also be helpful when the user will uh, type in the keyword to find the content and then finally upload the content. So you can click on the system and then simply upload content from here so I have a file called test that I can use and as you can see the, it is uploading my content here so this is a, a little bit larger file size so it's gonna take some time and while we wait I'm just going to tell you there are certain other things like we can put in the banner this should and there are, as you can see there are different banners for your website for your mobile applications and for your tv applications depending upon the various resolution requirements of different screens and then you can put in different kinds of add-ons like downloadables documents especially when you are trying to create some educational content and then we simply click save so as you can see the test uh, has been generated i have not used any uh, images for it because I just wanted to show it to you the encoding is in progress so this is the step 3 wherein you upload some form of content that can be visible on your application so after uploading some pieces of content the next step is now to set up your application and the steps to do it are pretty simple what you go what you do is you click on the apps icon and then go to the app dashboard as you can see there are no applications purchased because it's a free account so I'll simply go to Android TV app and then I can click on try your app option so as it says it's loading the next thing that I'm going to do is put my uh, basic information like the email ID that I'll be using for uh, to get my application sent to me 
the app name the app name could be anything let mine would be soul surfers uh, it's uh, time to choose some app launch icon you can choose just for the sample i'm choosing from default memory so it says the width is not valid so let's select one in which we have a valid width now let's go for the tv banner we can have this as the banner size yes we can have it uh, in some time it will show as updated yes now we simply click build your app and wait for some time so it says the process has been completed successfully and i'll receive it on my email yes we uh, we got an email from support at the rate movie.com let's just click on it we are excited to introduce you to the very wanted application built just for you. Click on the button to download. So there are a few instructions as you can see. You can install the app in any Android TV. You can use your Movie One CMS to manage content and customize the app in real time. And once you are ready to go live, you can simply purchase the application and you can send it to your customers. So it says you want to download. So I'll just click allow so that's it thank you if you like the application which i'm sure you did you can simply purchase the application and get it published yes developing an application a fully functional android application with movie one is that easy it is fully no code so anyone can do it and at the same time it offers a single cms approach so that you can make all your changes upload all your content on a single cms and it gets reflected on different applications that you subscribe with 100 plus more such features movie one is the best platform for you to develop your applications so what are you waiting for get a free trial of movie one and start building your own android tv app for free